Tony Award-winning Broadway director and playwright George C. Wolfe grew up in the racially segregated Frankfurt of the 1950s. In 2019, when Wolf returned to his hometown to be honored for his achievements in the theater, he recalled how the experiences of those early years helped shape the artist he's become. After his successful career in theater, George C. Wolfe has grown accustomed to the spotlight. An event with Betty Winston Baye at Frankfurt's Grand Theater drew a large crowd. As he returned home, we wanted to revisit his 1996 KET profile and reminisce with him about his beginnings in the capital city. Of course, who I am comes from where I'm from. And growing, I mean, growing, growing up in Frankfurt, Kentucky in a segregated town was sort of like in the most bizarre way, the, the best thing that ever happened to me because I was like indoctrinated with information and indoctrinated with an energy of my own significance because it was in defiance of what, what the white world was telling me. So that therefore, um, I carried that sort of that arrogance and, and that sense of self-worth and uh, that sense of, no, you can't tell me no, everywhere I go. The core of who you are is where you're from. I think that's, par I think a lot, I think that's partially true. I, I still believe that. I think I would say m probably more the core of who you are springs forth from the from the people that you are from. So as I've gotten to know more and more ab about my family, I would think it probably resonates for there. But there, there was you know at, you know at the time when I was when I grew up here for the I guess about the first seven or eight years of my life, Frankfurt was segregated, and. So I say that not in a like horror, horror way, but just in a sense that I, therefore, as a result, I was part of a very protective, insular community. And, and, I, and, and a lot of times when one finds oneself, you know, at different times in one's career in challenging equations or when one is under attack in the New York Times or whatever, uh, it's, it, it isn't... The, uh, what one has accomplished that you hold on to, it's, it's the knowledge of who you have always been and, and who you were valued by and who you were loved, even if they are no longer around. Yeah, this used to be a Rexall, I think. It was like, this, you drove through here. There, there was a Penny's, I remember, because my mother would shop there also. Well, my house is probably about right here, because that, that road was always there, except this road was probably a little bit wider. And there was a whole row of houses. My grandmother's house was right down there. You know, one day I will write about this, because it was what doesn't exist anymore. It was community. I can understand. I'd like to borrow your wings. What the to fly, I'll see. Now you've been singing all of a sudden you're shy. This is easy. My head is like a coffee pot, her nose is like a spout. So quit that stuff, Miss Lucy, and throw that coffee out. This is the most amazing thing. This is amazing to me. You know, there's your your seedling and then you grow and then the people who help you grow, um, have a have a have x amount of impact on on who you become and then once you leave and you're in charge then another degree of growing happens oh and so in that respect one is god willing ever evolving so i feel myself ever evolving and at the same time i can look back at things when i was five that I see are direct connections to who I have become. And at the same time, I've had so many experiences that have nothing to do with, with living here that have also defined me. So it's, so it's this hodgepodge of, yes, I'm the same person and no, I'm absolutely not. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's a little bit of that. I remember conscious still sort of going to high school and being disregarded. And, uh, and it probably wasn't even being disregarded. It's just I was in a, it was in a world where there was no context for me. You know, with, I, I, I studied really badly. And then add to it the component of race, add to it the component of going through, going through puberty. So much of what high school is is about joining clubs and, and coming up with an identity. And like I said, being funny was, was the way I acquired an identity, which is how I acquired 
be created security inside of myself, which is the way I acquired on a certain level some kind of power base. Humor has always been a weapon in some respects for me. It was, it was a certain kind of armor that you put on during high school while everybody else is putting on other kinds of armor. The, the community that I was a part of was very nurturing. And then there was a dynamic that happened, you know, as when I was at Frankfurt High and the friendships and the connections that I've made that were, that, that were, that, that, that I, I carried with me. But in terms of becoming the person that I wanted to become, or the idea that I wanted to become the artist, the person who wanted to make, to have a hand in, in crafting what the cultural landscape could be, those sorts of muscles came about once I left. And so in many respects, I had to escape what I knew to explore what I didn't know. Returning to the Grand Theater in 2019 had a special significance for George. Because the, the, the Grand Theater, during, during the years of segregated Frankfurt, the orchestra, for lack of better words, was, was where white people sat. And then the balcony is where black people sat. And so when I literally go in there, it will, I've never, ever, ever been in the front door. I will never have been on the orchestra, on the stage, or wherever I'm going to be. None of those things ever happened when I was here. So it's kind of, it's fascinating. It's, you know, it's startling. I think we're from there, but we don't belong there. But at the same time, we're from there, but at the same time, we don't belong there. And I don't, I mean, it's, you know, it's like I'm probably, I'm, if once I start writing again, I've always, I really want to start writing about Kentucky because it's sort of like I'm, I'm, Maybe it's because I've gone as far, I've gone as far in one direction as I want to go. What's interesting is I've been writing about here. And so I think that once I, once I relaxed into who I could become, I'm now in the process of going back and really thinking about what this place is and what it's meant and and and, and how its history reverberates in an interesting way so so it's a kind of full circle dynamic <laughs>